Hello, everyone, and welcome to Van Tech Corner. Finally, official OpenWRT support for the Raspberry Pi 5 is now available. You can download the firmware from the snapshot branch or build the firmware with custom package at firmwareselector.openwrt.org. In this video, I will run a simple throughput test to check out the Pi 5 performance with the firmware from openwrt.org. Since the Raspberry Pi 5 only has one Ethernet port, I will use a USB to Ethernet adapter as the one connection. For this test, I have two Ethernet adapters. The D-Link DUB1213, it is a gigabit Ethernet adapter that comes with the ASUS AXAA179 chip. The driver package for this adapter is KMOD USB NET ASUS AXAA179. The no brand 2.5 gigabit Ethernet adapter from China. According to the listing, the card is powered by the Realtex RTL A156B chip. The driver package for it is KMOD USB NET RTL A152. Since the snapshot firmware doesn't come with Lucy and the driver package for the USB to Ethernet adapter, I'm going to build it with OpenWRT firmware selector. Let's select the snapshot branch, search for Raspberry Pi 5, and click Customize Install Packages to add some more packages. Here, I need Lucy to accept the Lucy web interface and KMOD USB NAS A6AXAA179, KMOD USB NAT RTL A152 to use the USB to Ethernet adapters. Once done, press Request build and wait for the firmware to get ready. Let's download the factory SWATFS or the factory EXT4 file and burn it to the micro SD card using Rufus or DD command. I will skip this part. Now everything is ready. Let's power on the Raspberry Pi 5 and connect the onboard Ethernet port to the computer. As usual, let's set a root password. This is OpenWRT snapshot running on the Raspberry Pi 5. We can see that the kernel version is 6.1.77. The first test is done with the D-Link DUB1213 USB to Ethernet adapter. It will configure as a one port running GSCP client. Packet steering and shortwave offloading is enabled. Here, the one's IP address is 172.16.9.110 and the test server is on the one side. It has IP address of 172.16.9.133. The result is identical to the result we had in the previous video. It is 643 Mbps download and 881 Mbps upload. The same for iPub 3, it is 853 MPPS in normal mode or upload and 614 MPPS in reverse mode or download. Now, I will connect the 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet adapter to the USB 3.0 port on the Pi 5 and proceed with the test. Here, the adapter is detected at Ethernet 2. Let's change the one interface to Ethernet 2 and test this out. Testing with open speed test, the download speed is 977 Mbps and the upload speed is 981 Mbps. The result is a bit overrated, but it shows that the Pi 5 is performing well. Let's check out the throughput with iPub 3. With 4 streams running in normal direction or upload, the throughput is 950 Mbps. In revert direction or download, the throughput is 950 Mbps. During the test, the CPU load is very little, just 2 or 3%. I will run the iPod 3 test again with HTOP in order to see the load on every single call. Alright, so that will be all for today. In the next video, I will get another USB 3.0 to 2.5 gigabit Ethernet adapter 
and let's check out if the Pi 5 can handle 2.5 GPPS 1 to LAN throughput. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.